reply please to joy generator kind limit <coughs> manual is typing iko sawa okay okay uh, let's go i'll share my screen so kafungua oa first spinning up oa may pata so i will need some clarification first then we continue on what we have planned to do start drawing copy kalam o kamisha so i have this uh start 384 just just take the words niki to talk to you right that's anyway of draw i pay me spend it this So and uh, we have our 80 here. And a good draw. Then our web application. So what I understand is that when a user uh press this is a stick code the ssd code will be sent to 80 a request this the code request this initializes a request to uh, it uh, initializes a request to 80 mm -hmm. okay hope kila mtu anaona hapo so then 80 will send this to our web will send actually the request data i think it takes what the user selected and sends it to your app using the callback url yeah Yeah. so they call they will use the callback url sent to the web application yeah yeah because if you do not have a callback url then there's no way it can communicate to you so the callback url is what helps it communicate mm -hmm. to you to what the user has selected okay <laughs> then from there our web application will reply will send a plain text plain text sorry for taking your time to 80 then 80 will reply with a menu hmm? rather call it a response yeah. i call it a response yes you can choose whatever you want okay so let me put it into brackets a response so we try to understand where our it wrapper it angle from this point anyone see the wrapper it a for at the name then point one point it a for your end point here too uh -huh. remember application itself yes hapo ndio hiyo wrapper it it a for katikati not really acha sika katikati to kika katikati that means your callback url itakuwa inaenda kwa hapa 
mm-hmm. but rather you want the callback mm-hmm. URL to go to your app. So tunataka the callback your revenue it itapa itatumia communicate now inafaa kwenda kwa app yetu kwa app, yeah. kwa app yeah. 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 so the rapport should be the app itself so the rapport so, should be in our app yes no deni jana when okay this is an analogy from the callback your revenue when a user dials a certain code you mm-hmm. want to get certain information from it yes to your application yeah how will you get it you have to give it a callback url the application yako mm-hmm. so, no. yeah. so you want it to send you the data which a user has typed in or kama me initiate a session itakutumia itakutumia certain data to show that mm-hmm. you are an answer so, no. mm-hmm. kama make two or more selections itakutumia that data to your endpoint to yeah. endpoint yeah. which is your application mm-hmm. yeah. so at the moment what i tend to think is you want whatever user types in to come to your app and then your app can help you manipulate that data something of that sort i mean it's just talking it so so kitunelo from this joining the web application is supposed to send you the response send you the web app or oh, the web app is supposed this, to the web app will reply with a response which it will send to the user send you mm. so that means our app will help generate the it are helping generating this plaint yeah maybe or that response mm. you know in a way that is easy for it's whoever easy for is designing the response yeah mm. so we can start with what we had planned to do from the sendo mm. so the first thing ni ilikuwa ku register service code with 80 Mhm. Okay, share screen take. Okay. So you'll be telling me what to do. Yeah. Okay, right. Um I can stop. You can stop sharing the screen. Let me share mine. Can you all see my screen? I need to. No, not really. You can't see a screen. Oops, it's slow. Okay, it's slow. Switch switch screen or window. Control. Wait, stop. No, I can't. Uh. Share. Yeah. I I don't know if you can Yeah, oh. Okay, so I'll try to you can go to africanstocking.com then this is the website without the documentation and uh, a lot of stuff related to ET. Yeah, so for further information you can just go check. Um what I would like to do is to log in to my it account so that you can at least launch a simulator but before we launch a simulator there are a couple of things that we need so a simulator is more of a a visual representation of the normal ssd simulator you can use star five for hash then there's that screen that pops up yeah so that's what definitely a simulator does for you so what it does is it helps you simulate a uh, user speak on a civic in reality something of that sort yes so okay just see um if you have any questions please don't forget to ask ah, what can you see login you go behind and go behind for that can you see Yeah, the login session oh my okay um what i don't know if you're all on the same page what can you guys what can you other guys see on my screen kind of let me sandbox go to sandbox that's where i should go to mm-hmm. perfect so for most of you who are 
you've had the word sandbox from testing, from Safaricom APIs. So I think sandbox is more of a testing platform before you before you take your whole work to production. And then I'll go to USSD service codes. So first you'll have to generate a service code. For example, you when you want to buy credit using Safaricom, you have to say star five four four hash for you to initialize the session. So in our case, you also want to have a service code which you'll be using to initialize uh SSD code. Ah, our USSD session rather. Yeah. yeah, okay. So I had one which was here. I had set up a little bit earlier, but I can show you how to see. We can start the whole process of setting up. Yeah, yeah, I can just create uh create a channel. Yeah, so this is the first place what you do. So they give you this first bits of the code, then you choose the other bit of the code to do. So I'll do uh, one, two, three, four, five. It's a long number. Huh? One, two, three. Yes, yeah, so I want to use, just to call back your own, which doesn't exist, but we'll create one when we go to that time. So let me just copy this one. Um, one, two, three, four, eight. Only a maximum of two channels. Okay, let me just choose the suggestions that they have. 60, 66, 844 four. seems easier. Okay. Only a maximum of two channels allowed by user. I'll have to delete one. All right. Let me see. You can make them. You can uh -huh. just replace the cell back here. Then. I have deleted one so that I can finish. You can delete one of the two. Let's see what I have. Can I message you? Okay. Um, just update one of the two. Call back your else again. Okay. Let me change the last one. Uh, call back. So I can still retain this one because but uh, it's not a valid call back till you have it. So you can retain the callback that you have. Mm -hmm. yeah, so you just go to the create channel, you give it the code and the callback URL. Mm -hmm. So that's how we at least tell you this when you get this code, initialize a session and send me the data that 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 I need to put up from the user to this callback URL. So basically, that's just what happens. And this is what you're setting up in AT. So, so. Okay. Yeah. So when creating a service code, that means people at the same time to make create a callback URL. Yeah, you have to. Okay, from that point, see. To another one, just a minute from that. No, God, the callback URL in exist at. We don't have the, the callback URL is a URL to your application. Um, get it. Did you push how could? I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just account confirm. Just. I think I had cloned one of. Confirm to me if she really pushed her work. I really don't know the exact directory where. Okay. Let me cd that. No. I had it somewhere. Editor. That's not this one. I can't remember the correct directory where you put that project. The last, yes, AT test. So CD, AT test. Um, so this is, this will be the application which contains our wrapper. So if you go to Elixir Kenya, 
GitHub, there's a little documentation of how you can use your app. Let me just uh, GitHub go to that place. So basically what we want to do is we have this application and we want this wrapper to help us do a couple of things. So for example, when it sends a letter to us, we want our wrapper to help us manipulate that app in the easiest way possible. We also want it when a certain user responds with something to help us generate a certain response, which we will send back to AT and be able to show that rectangle level that you have. Hey, GitHub is down. Why? Ah, you can't choose this one. <laughs> then why are you suggesting it for me? Yeah, I need to hear. Yeah. But I can go to. Ah, this one. I'll find it. So in the readme section, we have a way of using the our wrapper. So we use it as a dependency. So in Elixir, you add it. In your mix.ex, if you want to use a dependency, you add it at this section, but currently it's not available in hex, so we only refer to the GitHub version. Um to the GitHub version in GitHub currently. Yeah. Any questions so far? So our app, which is AT test. Uh let me just proudly open something up. <laughs> If you check in my mix.ex, in my dependencies, I have our wrapper here, which will reference to GitHub. I think with time, when we have more solid features, we'll deploy it to X. OK, so I can do mixsteps.get. have all my dependencies up so I can start before I start my server I need to define this is a Phoenix application so it was easy to do a Phoenix application since it has all the endpoints and routes set up for us and it was a, it will be it was a little bit consuming to do the scaffolding for a purely Elixir app so if I go to my router.ex uh, I'm scoping through API since it's an API we're dealing with. And then I have this URL post to slash SSD. And then this is the controller and the action that I have to use. So, so. OK. So all I need to do is if I check on my routes, let me just clear. Makes PHX to truths. I only have uh, the one that I defined and the WebSocket root. So we'll be using this one. So I can just search my server. So it will start at port 4000. So I would also want to. I cannot access my server directly, so I also want to port to map this server online. So I'll have to use ngrok and then tell it to direct traffic to a certain port. So I'll do ngrok HTTP 4000. Okay, so it's already set up. So if Anything comes to this URL, it will be passed to this, to my local server. So, so. Mm. so you can either use HTTPS or HTTP. I think uh, both, it's fine for me. I've never seen them much different with it. So that did this callback URL since we now evidently have our app. So I'll just update this one to use that. Then save. 
of the call back updated. So the next thing will be launch a simulator. Um, I just give any random number or my own phone number. Just a random. Seven, two, thirty-four. Have certain numbers because it's a guesswork. <laughs> then lounge. Uh, no, I don't use my number publicly, but it's all right. One digit. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay, so we have the UCC session. Uh, let me remember that. Oh, I wanted to remember this service code that we have. So we do us. You come to the UCC section, then enter your code. So this is a code that we have. We'll be using copy. Then I do that. Then call. Then yeah, boom. We have that message. Dear customer, the network is experiencing technical problems and your request was not processed. Please try again later. Okay. So let me see if nothing came to my endpoint. Try again. Oh, I just try again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Same thing. Same thing. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh yeah, it's it's actually coming to Nini. We have a callback URL, so this is it's post API SSD. Oh, I was checking at this point. I was waiting for this post API to the end of the night check my server. So there's a post request to our API SSD. This is what is send parameters send, and it will crash because we have not set any response over yeah. to be going back to AT. But one thing you should notice is when you're initializing your session, uh, this text is just an empty string, meaning that the user didn't select anything. They're just starting a session. So, and they are so transparent, so they can just, they're showing us the service code is this, and then the phone number used is this, and then the network code. I don't know what network code is, but if people, some people need to use it, it will be efficient for them. Yeah. So let's, set up this and at least have our wrapper help us um, manipulate our data and also be able to send a response back. So, so. Any questions so far? Magaki says, what number to do it with DF? If you need it, please. <clears throat> yes, you know where to find me. Relax. Okay, so what you'll do is you'll go to our UCC controller. Okay. Yeah, it's already set up. So basically, what I'm doing is um, I'm inspecting the params, but I'm not sending any request back. And then I also want my wrapper to. Kind of what you've done is we have only dealt with the response not what the user has given us mm. yeah so okay so i can just uh, have context called ussd you have a question Tracy? no you could mm. okay so i'm going to leave new file address uh, let me create a module first I think I'm used to the fact that the module way of doing things, USSD module. Then in my USSD module, I have USSD.ex. Um, close that. So I'll first define my module, USSD. I have to do AT tests that uses the for them spacing purposes. 
that way mm. okay and then currently our rapper does not um currently what our rapper is able is to give a response so we have not yet worked on when i uh, when it is sent us a certain data what should we do so we'll work on that as next issue but i would like to do it myself and then be able to use the existing features for responding to a user using the wrapper i hope that's kind of clear enough so so i'll just create a function what could be the name of a function mocha <laughs> help me out the name form response mm. so form response we will do it later when it receives an empty string do the following what you should do is it will call what's the mean ATX. Dot. Um. Let me refer the function to you. Huh? That way. Okay. Yeah. Let me confirm the functions which we have in ATX just from GitLab. Um, I get her, but it's a Kenya. This one. So, uh, huh. just the code. Not really. Uh, pull request. This is what we are working on. Mm, files change. So you want to call build response. Uh, with with what content? Just huh? We can just test with this one, for example. So if maybe when you go to star three eight four hash, you offered a session for ordering for food, then you choose whatever you want from it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So you can tell it when you get an empty string, please initialize the session with the following stuff. Uh -huh. okay. um, I hope I'm clear to everyone. So you can just use this example that exists. Uh, so I can just do this, 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 okay. Copy. Okay. Oops, sorry, where am I at? So you can say my body would be that. Then I need to call atx.build response to the body, right? Yeah. The ssd.build response. At ssd. That way. The x is also Oh, I think I'm not um so I'm not a copy first thing. <laughs> I prefer writing to get used to it. From this, but... All right, let me just do this. Copy. Um, oops. Why are things getting out of my hand? So we'll call this function for us. Okay, one thing you've noticed is we have not called this function our controller. So once the controller gets this, then we'll call it here. So um, I want to put and match the params. Just check the text because that's all I need from the params sent to me. Then I will call this function. From this one. It here. Uh, it test dot usd dot form response.
then I give it uh, my text. So you can inspect what you have at the end of this point. Okay, so I'll go back to my simulator and just do this again. Yeah, we have a crash. We check at our server. Okay. Get the following. Pardon? I have a question. Yes. I will declare function echo from response. Mm -hmm. Is there a need to picture that body? Because oh. at first, my job to call an empty string. No, when you give me an empty string, I need to initialize that. Uh, what yeah. to respond with? I need to show the user this is what you need to see. So, for example, you wanted to order food. So, if you dial start 384, I need to show you those options. Because yeah. they won't appear magically. You need to really tell, tell that person, these are the options that we have, what you want. Okay. So, so. Okay. Um, this was bound to fail, by the way. So, we have alarm dot by zero this uh we have an error at atx build response this is not yet in master right mm -hmm. so how can we can you refer to yeah, certain yeah, branch? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. let me see what's in master am you can refer to a certain branch yeah how for you, another for mix. Hmm? Another for mix. Mix the checks. Ah. Uh, and then. No, 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 Eh, how yeah, branch. Branch. Mm -hmm. that way? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. I think that's okay. Branch. So you want us to go to our current branch because this this whatever we want to test is not yet in production. So we'll want to it to feature this branch. What's our branch? Refactor uses yes, deep functionality. Can I copy this name? I hope I did. Perfect. So I want you to get it from that branch. Oh, the string ends at control Z. What am I doing? That way. E P N string. This one. Mm -hmm. All right, this is interesting. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I've cut out one word. We need to get our dependencies again. Okay. Hope you're in the right direction now. Okay, so let me initialize again the session and see what response that we get. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So this is the response that we get. Okay, it returns an atom of okay and the word con and then zero, chips, one, this, two, this, three, this. So we need to set a response. Now we need to package this as a response back to AT. So, so. Yeah, so we'll give it the second, this string only. Mm -hmm. You give it as not part of the body. Mm -hmm. You can send a response back. With that content. Yeah. So you can do send underscore response of status 200. Yeah. Uh -huh. The next thing, you know, con first. Con 200 and then you give it this. 
Control X, Control V. Uh, that should be a string. So oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. So you yeah. can do OK. In our body. Let's maybe we just call it a response because we want to send a response basically to AT. Because to that, then we send back our response. Ooh, let's be hopeful to works. Hi. Twin delay. Man. Okay. So we still. You know, session. Please work. Yay. And then it has initialized for us this our list of things that we wanted. If you want it to have a header, you can also give it. So, for example, we have that. It's not yet connected to each other. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, this is what basically wanted to simulate from uh, our application and test the functionality for our wrapper. So, what our, our wrapper does is it will form a response to us according to how we have given it certain information. Yeah. Back to Tracy. Oh, Maga can asema in VS Code there's a plugin which gets the dependencies the moment you save or auto save. VS ah, VS Code oh, auto VS Code check it out. We we, we are soon. Oh, what's the name oh, of the plugin? It's a plugin Maga. He's typing. Hey, Maga, could I go to school? I'll take you to school. Okay. 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 Frank? Yeah, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> so, from a perspective, to the same thing, to the next, because to my is a map, according to what we had to cover today. Yeah, but that's not the test. Then, yeah? How do you do the test? They can do the test. This is. So, okay. Yeah. Or oh, see from Tracy and Samati today, we are just simulating the simplest case oh, yes. scenario. But uh, it will come to match this after the test to break down the issues into smaller ones. Yeah, and that after Polo Good, I love you at Fortilia and Amanda who review and have match. I didn't get your point, but. Well. Right. In as much as the test, mm -hmm. the issue is not complete. You will pay her test. So to not have test all the cases is in it, may Yeah. For the wrapper, for the wrapper set up for the test. Oh, for the wrapper? For the wrapper, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to put it there, sir. So, so, you have to work here as from next week, Amma. You're the boss. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about the comments. Then you pay. Magak, Cynthia, when you are meant to join a lab, and okay, what do you think? Pongi Aleo. No, sir, Major. So, to nangala the scope of work zenye tunafaa kukava so far, and one of them enye imekua brought up ni testing, ju hatuna test cases ya the rapper, ya the USSD function enye tumewakia so far. So, yo ni one of the scenarios, vitu zengine zenye uneza fikiria tunafaa kukia. But for this issue to be complete, we just need the test in the remote. But you also, I so will we, we'll be working with what, because currently, um, I had to manually say that I'm getting an empty string, so do this for me. Because you know the wrapper should be able to get whatever data it needs to me and make sense out of it. Yeah, so there's a bit of when it sends a certain data, what should you do to it? 
how do we tell the uh, developer that maybe if you receive an empty string, then this is an initialization, just give it whatever good you want, then a response will be formed out of it, right? Because now manually, you have to separate the two bits. Forming of response is a bit separate, and how the receiving of data is also a little bit separate. Mm -hmm. No one said. So, to the Kachini, one of the things I need to talk work here. Let me see. I hope I'm going to come to my plugin. If you guys are going to chat. Magat, you need to put your here. Kwa sublime kia ni nani shabra chenyo? Kwa sublime si tanga na sasa. Right, I I look for this person Yes? Uh, unaza configure tu yeye, but it, it took me so it took me some time configure yuki tu kwa yeah. VS Code. Oh, okay, so we are uh, but yeah, in a letter, maybe um, I'm gonna do <laughs> open source yeah. contributors in your easy languages, come Ruby and Elixir and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So the plugins are Zico, as Zico Kai HTML, the part I need plugin and work it So yeah. you can just find out something that works for you. Okay, if someone is using VS Code, yeah. I can share the Nini. Mm -hmm. The configuration and uh, because we'll in a setup yango, I think it works good for me now. I think it never works better for anybody else who uses VS Code. When you talk about models, Mongolia models. Could I turn up back up up on you, my hand? This is so okay. Thank you. Uh, VS Code users, you want the plugin? I'm taking plugin. Why? <laughs> oh, no. okay. You're speaking, Maga. Oh, okay. 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 Personally, what I always do when I get started to a language and a framework, I try to, I try to do maybe put one, two, or three packages. So, when I'm going to quit with Elixir, but I'm going So, I'll be adding for quality for the poly too. So, for another one, push back. So, in case you're interested, whenever I and datuma and datuma the repo unaweza add code pull request kwa contributor ndakuwa ni add pole pole okay pacha kwanza tu kukupata vizuri oh welcome so, to Tesh. so you have to speak english so i didn't get you in the first part of what your application is doing and i think it's open source so there was someone who had admitted so there was mixed in Noises, we couldn't hear you. Well. So, could you just repeat? Oh, you say? Oh. So, uh, after two months of getting started with this Elixir, I've been, I was just trying yes. to think of maybe something open source I can do. It's been my norm mm -hmm. in Laravel, mm -hmm. I've done in uh, JS, I've in PM packages. So I was thinking of one which I can do maybe for the X packages, and I started uh, in PESA. First one because mm -hmm. I have a couple of impressive ones in, in Laravel, so it was easy to get started. So, so far, I published it yesterday. Mm -hmm. So much still need to be done uh, about the documentation and stuff, but so, so far, it can only handle SDK push. My next, maybe by next weekend, I'm going to add C2B, then B2C, then registration of URL. So, if, if you can always take part to this, I'll share the, the URL in the chat. The course of the day, yeah. That's always, that's always what I do. Just think of a package. And also, apart from that, I'm also mm -hmm. thinking of a way of creating a different package in uh, 
in Phoenix. Because I've been thinking, I've been thinking, okay, you know, when I get, when I got started, uh, you have muted yourself. So what I was saying that, uh, okay, when I got started with the Phoenix, the first thing uh, which uh, personally, okay, not that, but I just, I didn't really like is about the the flash notifications. Put flash the, notification. the put the the put flash method then on, on the other side is a a bootstrap kind of a lot a lot okay so there's if if I can share some li link let me just see there's some kind of toast Notifications of different alerts, which I was trying to think if you can easily incorporate in uh, in Phoenix. I'm just trying. I'm still trying to, to understand how embedded Elixir really works, but uh, it's kind of not that uh, flexible to kind of incorporate this kind of stuff. But on my end, I, I really managed. Uh, currently, uh, I use those notifications. So I'm like I'm trying to find a, a good way to really incorporate maybe do a plugin or or something like that that you can easily use these other kind of notifications for alerts and stuff. Yeah, it's also some some interesting stuff I, re, I really want to explore in Elixir. Just really tend to understand how embedded Elixir works. Yeah, that's really uh, two of uh, some open source stuff I'm, I'm really thinking of doing it in uh, Elixir. In that Phoenix, is, actually, not it. That is very interesting. Uh, you can share the repository and uh, you work with MPESA. Feel free to contribute. So you can yeah. contribute. Uh, it's, it's an MPESA wrapper, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you, can, you just. I think uh, to send you to na the link to the repositories, both of them, uh, for the TOS CSS related. Yeah, both of them. Just for that, anyone feel free to contribute to those two repositories as contributing. You know, we contribute to dependencies which we'll also use in the future, and we're also growing the Elixir community. So it's really a good thing. So I'll share the. The links, not now though, maybe in, in the next one or two. Still got a place to do that now. You can share it on WhatsApp or Telegram or majority of the channels that we are both in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So discuss of what scope to cover, then to share the information later on. Uh what else? I think so, some interesting stuff to think of. I really don't know how, how you guys handle the the string responses from Africa is talking. So it can be an interesting can be an interesting stuff to also discuss about because personally, what I always do, I always do, I always do rejects expressions to determine the different kind of response from what I expect. Then I I know the the step at which. Uh, the user is so I really don't know how, how on your end you does that. When the string builds from say one star, two star, maybe a string and stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's a a section that we we have not yet started doing, but we are hoping to do so. So it's a thing for so the manipulation of the data which AT sends us is part of what the wrapper is supposed to do, which we are yet to implement. And it's, it's, an, it's an interesting thing. So utakuwa na sisi to keep fine. So. So, sir, to me, to Nisha, Natasha, the recordings, I'm up here and I upload YouTube. So that anyone who wants to join at Akua is easy to learn with us. So, sir, where are you?